While the Mail on Sunday reported yesterday that Meghan Markle may be on the brink of signing a major deal with French couture house Dior to make her a face of the company, Page Six Style has learned there's no such megabucks contract in the works. However, shortly after that, the creative director of Deal posted a hidden post on his personal Instagram that the Meghan didn't have a contract with them. And today there is really good news when new Jean's Heron has been announced as the new face of Dior, making her the latest member of the buzzy K-pop girl group to score a partnership with a luxury brand. The 16-year-old South Korean singer has been named as Dior's ambassador for jewelry, fashion and beauty. Heron joins the fashion house's roster of ambassadors, which already includes fellow K-pop stars like Jisoo of Blackpink, EXO's Sun, Astro's Chaeyoon Woo, and BTS member Jimin who became the face of Dior Men in January 2023. The biggest spenders in the luxury market are Asian so it makes sense to pick more Asians as ambassadors and better her than Megan. A Dior source adding that Dior is really sober to believe that Megan is not a Hollywood shaker. She will not bring success to Dior, but on the contrary, will cause sales to decrease. If Dior takes on Megan she will ruin them. Dior would do best to stay away or she'll be smack talking them like she did deal or no deal. Megan couldn't even play a model slash influencer in the 2015 movie Andy Social, so what gives her the idea that Dior wants her as an ambassador? Dior not can signing a D-list actress, middle-aged, druggy, fake hair, square body with a very limited cult following. In movie Andy Social, Meg looks cheap and flat and what's up with that weird eye shadow? Is she supposed to look like a space alien who has no idea what perfume is? Meghan Markle makes anything she wears look as if it was bought from a cheap market stall. Dior know that, if this goes ahead Dior can losing your very high-end customers and a lot of kudos in the fashion world. I can't see Meg ever getting an invitation to the Met Gala or being endorsed by Dame on a winter. Rihanna is a major talent, a beautiful woman, and a fabulous singer. Jennifer Lawrence is an accomplished movie star. What would Meghan Markle bring to deal? Nothing. You probably remember the times when Meghan wore deal products, typically the monogram handbag that Reed sews, and then the brand had to reduce the price of its entire product line. That partnerships with major design houses come with massive paydays, Johnny Stepp's latest Dior deal netted the actor upwards of $20 million, per variety, while Jennifer Lawrence extended her contract with the brand for between $15 and $20 million in 2014, as Page Six reported at the time. With Dior's latest announcement, New Jeans members are now fully connected to the world of luxury. Danielle is an ambassador for Burberry and YSL Beauty. Hani is the face of Gucci and Armani Beauty. Minji has worked with Chanel, and the group's youngest member, Hi Ain, is a brand ambassador for Louis Vuitton. This is an opportunity to celebrate the privileged ties binding more than ever the New Jeans singer and Dior, shared the Mason in statement. Between elegance and audacity, a unique friendship in the name of creativity. Although she was born in 2008, the new jeans singer has certainly proven that she knows her 2000s fashion trends. Her edgy red carpet outfits take cues from the oft-referenced sci-fi film, The Matrix, as well as the decades beloved pop stars, like Christina Aguilera. Hyane is also often spotted with must-have accessories like mini bags, beanies and belly chains which were originally popularized by 2000s fashion icons such as Britney Spears and Paris Hilton.